Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how much money I made by investing $15 per week into Acorns. Now, I signed up with them a couple of months ago and I've been investing $15 with a aggressive portfolio. And we're gonna be looking at how much money I made and how much money I lost and seeing is Acorns worth it for your investment portfolio. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments, guys. And if you guys wanna sign up, I'll put links down below so you guys can sign up and get a couple of dollars with Acorns. So guys let's jump into it all right so for those of you that don't know what acorns is acorns is a investment portfolio an investment account that allows beginners to invest in the stock market now the beauty of acorns is you guys can just invest and forget you don't have to actively pick and choose and buy and sell your investments you invest and you give them your pretty much your risk tolerance whether you're a conservative investor or you're a aggressive investor now you give them that information and they pick and choose different ETFs bonds and mutual funds that meet your needs now I've been doing this over the past couple of months and I've been investing $15 per week with a aggressive portfolio and let's just dive in and see how much money I made well looking at it you guys will notice my total account size is near and around 344 bucks which I get is not much but I'm just starting out $15 a week is not much I get it but looking at the year-to-day returns I'm not happy about it. And the reason why is I'm down about 1.5% or I'm down about $16 comparing to the S&P 500, which is, which is just the top 500 companies, is up about 1.34%, meaning investing in the Acorns has an opportunity cost. I, have a, I could make more money investing in the S&P than I could investing in Acorns. Now, I understand starting out you don't know where to invest, but the S&P is just a broad index that it, most people invest in. That's the best investment that I would recommend for beginners. But I'll be honest, they do have some positives here. The one month performance on this, I'm down about negative one point. 94% or about $21, but the S&P is down about over 6%, meaning that yes, I may miss out on some higher returns, but I am also not going to suffer as many losses. Now, the reason why Acorns does this is to kind of keep your account a little more stable. If they would just totally invest in the S&P, your account could be a little more volatile and it will shake out a lot more investors. So they put a lot more other funds in it. They may put some bonds or things that don't move as much. Now, personally, is Acorns worth it? Now, Acorns does charge a $3 per month fee to have your account with them. Now, there is a major, major opportunity cost with that $3 fee and I know you might be saying Carter it's only three bucks it's not much hey if you'd invest that three dollars into the S&P 500 which gets a 10% return per year you're missing out on a ton of money so let's do the math you invest three dollars per month into the S&P 500 over the course of 45 years you're missing out on about twenty six thousand dollars twenty six thousand of of your money so i think there that is a major major thing anytime you guys invest and you you pay fees you're missing out on future money and that's what a lot of people and a lot of beginners don't understand and they they think that the acorns is the only portfolio that offers a a helping way to invest no, M1 Finance, you guys can do the exact same thing. You can have Roth IRA, Standard Brokers Account, and they give you a recommended investment, whether you're a retirement investor or just generally investing for income and growth, and you guys can pick and choose. It's very, very similar to Acorns, but you don't have to pay that major nasty fee and I know it's only three dollars but you have to look down the road where that three dollars compounded on itself is going to add up to a ton of money guys so to answer the question of is is this worth it is acorns worth it I think it all comes down to to starting out if you're somebody and you're just getting the your feet wet with investing and you don't know where to go and you and you just want to invest I think acorns is great I would rather see you guys 
invest in acorns than not invest at all. I think that's way better than people just sitting on the sidelines. But if you're investing in acorns and you know there's a better option out there, I think that's on you. I think there is way better options to make money and make more money with very, very little work to do so. M1 Finance is great and there's a ton of other ones. Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, there's a lot of other options out there that may be very, very beneficial for you guys. So guys, that is it. That is how much money I made, how much money I lost with Acorns and giving you guys my honest review of it and why I'm not the biggest fan with it. But the reason why I'm doing it is to prove to you guys that over the course of the long run, you guys can still make money off this. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys did hit that like button, subscribe because it helps me out when you guys do that. And we'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive and stay safe. Take care everyone.